I want to talk about all of this. Let's bring in Keith Jeffries, the former federal security director at LAX and the vice president of K2 Security Screening Group. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us. Yeah, thanks for having me, Josh. I appreciate it. Good morning to you. Of course. Good morning. Well, first off, obviously, as I read those incidents off, there is a lot of them over a fairly short period of time. What do you make of those incidents overall? Well, Josh, you know, that's certainly concerning for all of us. And uh, 2024 certainly hasn't been very kind to Boeing, to say the least. And you could argue that the last six or seven years, it hasn't been very kind to them. And so it begs the question, I think we all have to ask, has Boeing sacrificed quality over profit? And I think through the NTSB and the FAA and what they're looking into with all of these incidents, we're certainly going to find out. But they have a quality control issue. There's no doubt. And I know this might be a tough question to answer, but just roughly speaking, how many of the commercial planes in service are Boeing? Are we talking a majority of those flights? Because we've heard so many of these stories. Yeah, great question, Josh. There's about uh, 10,000 of the commercial aircrafts that are out there, about 45% of the market, 42 to 45% of the market are actually Boeing aircraft. I'm glad you had that number because I was very curious. Now, are we seeing more incidents like these or are we just hearing more about them in a time of social media where folks happen to have, you know, their cameras rolling and they're sharing these stories on social media? I think it's a little bit of both, right? I think the uh, the fact that everyone does have a camera available to them, we're hearing about it. The information when something like this happens spreads extremely quickly. And with the track record of all of those incidents you just uh, mentioned previously, it certainly catches the attention. And uh, yeah, so I think it's both. I think it's actually both. What impact, if any, are these situations likely to have on air travel altogether? So I think it's obvious that Boeing has some trust issues. They have trust issues with one of their clients, which is obviously the airlines. They sell those aircraft to the airlines. They got some trust issues with the regulators, the NTSB and the FAA, based on reports that I've read and heard from other colleagues. And of course, they've got trust issues with the flying passengers. I'm confident that they'll work through some of those issues, but they definitely have a public relations trust issue on their hands at, at right now. And that might really be an understatement at this point. What are the options for Boeing overall? Well, anybody in the aviation industry knows that you got to put safety first. So I think that uh, we would like to think that Boeing has always had it there. They need to just remind them and their entire corporation exactly that, that safety first uh cooperate with all of the regulators obviously that's important and put the focus as i mentioned earlier on quality vices profit and that trust and the safety will improve along with that quality improvement there's no doubt could we actually see a grounding of all boeing aircraft as this investigation does progress as we see all of these incidents start to kind of stack up well, anything is possible, Josh. I mean, I, so I don't want to rule that out. It's probably unlikely, but it's not just Boeing, right? There's a partnership. It's everyone else involved from the ground crews of these aircraft, the airline industry, as I mentioned earlier, the FAA and NTSB. It's everybody working together to make sure that we can find those gaps in those safety issues and quality control issues. And there's no doubt that Boeing has that at the top of their list as well to improve that. Is enough being done to, I guess, combat the fears uh, regarding air travel as these incidents do play out? Are we hearing enough and is enough being done overall? Well, we're certainly hearing about them, right? What we're not hearing about is what corrective action is being done because that takes time. That's not criticism on Boeing or anyone else. There's no rush to success to find out what these safety issues are. But let's face it, uh, Boeing is a very reputable American company that's been around since 1916. Uh, they've had many peaks and valleys along their way. I'm confident that they're going to get these things fixed. Uh, it's just going to take some time. And uh, certainly, I know they're working hard to do just that. Any advice you have for people who are concerned about flying following all of these incidents? Yeah, certainly the concern is warranted. 
If you are flying, make sure you listen to the flight attendant. Safety is paramount for everyone, right? Just listen to those rules and instructions. And by the way, it's spring break. If you are traveling, have fun, safe travels. Everything's going to be okay. Just trust everybody involved working in that partnership. We'll get these uh, safety issues and quality control issues taken care of. Yes, yeah, stay safe and for spring breakers, behave is probably the best advice there. Keith Jeffries, thank you so much as always for taking the time to be here with us to break down the latest information. Anything else you wanna add about any of this before I let you go? No, nothing at all, Josh, you have a great weekend and I appreciate the opportunity. All right, you too. Thank you again for being here with us. You bet.